And with Governor Greg Abbott issuing that executive order that says no business here in the state of Texas can have a COVID-19 vaccine mandate. And today, American Airlines, which is based here in Texas, says it's sticking with its vaccine mandate anyway under President Biden's rules. Some legal experts are not so sure Abbott's order will last. ABC 13, Nick Notario joining us now from the newsroom. So, Nick, do you have to show your employer your vaccination card? Uh, prior to yesterday, I would have told you yes, but but that all changes today and it's all thanks to this order right here. But legal experts aren't so sure it's going to remain that way soon. Private businesses are scrambling about what to do after Governor Greg Abbott's latest executive order. I have gotten a few calls from some employers now and of course they also represent individuals and so there's a, a lot of a lot of phone calls being made. Labor attorney David Kwan says the governor's latest move is perplexing. I think unfortunately there's not, there's a lack of certainty with right now. The landscape is very confused. Baffled because private employers across the state had vaccine mandates in place. But now employers can't ask for COVID-19 vaccination proof. The governor says he wanted to block bullying mandates from the federal government. Kwan says if you're unsure what to do, no, the order could be challenged and overturned. Right now, probably do what you're doing and be prepared to be flexible. Texas Democrats were quick to pounce on the order. Previous measures by the governor allowed private businesses to keep mass mandates, but this removes vaccine requirements. Politicizing vaccines as they're doing and politicizing COVID as they're doing to win their primaries is absolutely reprehensible. And then telling CEOs how to run their companies, that's not something that Texas politicians should be doing. More Texas lawmakers could get involved. The following message from the governor, the secretary will read the message. Today, the Senate introduced the issue on the floor and could vote on legislation banning vaccine mandates during the special session. It's more overreach, and I don't know why the guy, these guys are doing it. Second, I come out of the business community. Is the government, is the government gonna tell businesses how to run their business? So we reached out to the governor's office on this issue and we've been trying to reach him for several months, but we have not been able to get a hold of them and conduct an interview. We also reached out to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick's office, did not hear back. However, the Lieutenant Governor put this on social media saying I've consistently said taking the COVID vax is a personal decision and should never be forced on anyone by the state or a private employer. Now that it's on the call, the Senate will move swiftly to take up this matter.